Hello everyone. Welcome to my video session. In this session, I am going for SSH exploitation or you can say pen testing SSH. So what is SSH? SSH stands for secure cell and it makes the use of TCP 422. SSS protocol allows the secured and reliable remote login from one computer to another. It is a secure alternative of Telnet and R login. In this session, I am going to make the use of Kali Linux, my target meta exploit framework, and map and internet. So let's start with my first and map command so this command is going to provide me the version of ssh running in my target network a part of that it is going to display the vulnerability against that ssh version so my and map scanning is started is going to take some time for scan to complete till then wait so my scanning is completed and we got information that port 22 tcp is open and ssh service is running on my target network and the version is open ssh 7.4 and these all are the vulnerabilities against this ssh version now i am going forward for that i am making the use of meta exploit framework so i am going to make the use of msf console for meta exploit framework to launch so let's wait for some time my meta exploit framework console is started So it is started now I am going to make the use of auxiliary module. Okay it is started now I am using show option in order to see what are the options available. Okay, now here I am going to set, make the use of command. Set our host. Okay, and here I am going to provide my target so my target ip is this so here i am going to provide my target ip enter so my r host is set to 45.33.49.11 now i am moving forward so here I am using set verbose. Set verbose true. Enter. So verbose is set to true. Now I am going for stop on success true ok 
okay i am using set stop on success true okay it is set to true now okay now already i have the two files that is the password file and the user file so these are the file user file and the password file so i am going to the property and i am just copying the path so here i am using set user file set user okay here it is set user file here i am pasting the location user dot txt then i am using set v a w s file and the location pass dot txt okay it is completed now i am going to run so see here starting the brute force so now it is going to make a multiple hit against a server with the combination of user and a password which i have provided in the list see here this is my target 22 is my port first he has tried user root password root but it is failed then second it has used user as root and password is store and it is failed then third it has used user as root and password as password so in this way we can go for brute force attempt in order to find out the correct match of the password but keep in mind by doing this a multiple attempt is going to hit the server and this is only for the tutorial purpose thanks for watching the video stay tuned for more update on cyber security till then bye bye